My name is Maria Costello, MBE. I'm a motorcycle, sidecar and now car racer and I've been racing for 26 years. So I think I've been racing now at the Revival for about 10 years, which is crazy. I mean, it doesn't feel like that long. Because this place is so special, I mean, it's, it's got to be the only circuit that's preserved in this time. Getting to race a classic bike in this you know, feel this circuit. This atmosphere is incredibly special. So the classic bike racing at Goodwood has definitely got more competitive. Um, the depth of field is crazy now. Um, I think everyone's realised how much fun, how fantastic this is and that everyone wants to be here. So this year it's a little bit more special um, because I'm riding for Sally and Gordon Russell. Um, they are actually instrumental in making the bike races happen here. Sally's the deputy clerk of the course. Um, and Russell's been racing for 50 years. It's, it's their Manx Norton, and I was over the moon to be offered that bike. This meeting is different because I've put a lot of extra pressure on myself because I've decided to race a car and a motorcycle. Something I've wanted to do ever since I got the opportunity to race a classic car and I thought it'd be a great idea. <laughs> um, and thanks to Julius Thurgood, I've been introduced to Richard Colburn and his family. They run some amazing classic cars. And when Richard brought um, a Mini and an MG Y-Type to Donington uh, for me to test, and then went on to say, you're gonna be driving this at Goodwood. I mean, oh, I was so excited. Like a kid at Christmas, seriously. being first at things. I don't always get to be first in the race, but I, yeah, I like breaking boundaries. Yeah. The, um, the Barishin Memorial Trophy race is a two-part race, um, two-rider race. Le Mans starts, so that means we have to run across the track, um, the other team members holding the bike, you jump on the bike and you're away. Um, and you do, it's over two days on the Saturday and the Sunday. The race start, the Le Mans start, is terrifying. Here on day two for the first race in the Barry Sheen Memorial. Two 25 minute races, each with two riders in. There's such a lot that can go wrong. And I did that this weekend. It's not the first time, but I fluffed the start again. I got too excited and I was revving it too much and it wouldn't go into gear. So the whole field's left and in turn one and I'm having to catch them up. But um, like I say, it's not the first time I've done that. I just settled into it and I, I knew I could just enjoy some clear track and that's what I, you know, I was just enjoying myself on that Manx Norton. Um, until uh, I guess I was pushing, enjoying myself and I found the bike's you know, front suspension limits and unfortunately had a slip off at Levant, which broke my heart because I'm, I'm riding somebody else's bike it's, and it's Gordon and Sally's bike and I felt so bad. I haven't crashed for such a long time. Just lots of emotion in that moment. Also, you don't want to crash at Goodwood. Um, I've never done that before here. Um, but the whole team were so lovely about it. Of course, they've given me a lot of stick and I'll never forget it. Talk about
about baptism of fire. And with me crashing the bike, so much drama. And then not just that, but on the Friday, the sessions being back to back, absolutely back to back. Like I'm on track on the bike whilst my car is being brought into the assembly area. So it was a case of having to run to the driver's club, get changed into my driving outfit and then run to the car. Everyone else is in the car, doors shut. I didn't have a moment to catch my breath. Went out on track, um, massive grin on my face and then span it at turn one because I hadn't really thought about cold tyres and I was still in bike mode and uh, yeah, that wasn't uh, the best way to start my qualifying session. Thankfully, I didn't hit the tyre wall and I could continue, but yeah, it unsettled me a little bit. So that was the first bit of drama. So Mary's Trophy Race Part 1 here at the 2021 Goodwood Revival. All of our 30 cars are on the grid. I have stood on the side and watched that race many times because it's always spectacular. In not just because the racing's fierce, but because they're wild. They're crashing into each other, they're on the grass. And then I found myself on the grid. I literally sat on that grid and I was like, what am I doing here? This is bonkers. So I'm not in a particularly competitive car. Um, and you know, I needed to take into account that I was out there with all the pro drivers and um, it was gonna have some hairy moments, but I did love it, I did love it. I had some clear laps, I got to enjoy those, and I also had the best seat in the house to watch all that crazy action. It was, it was amazing, I'm still, it's still sinking in, I think. I've never done bike and car back to back. I thought it would be okay, I've done sidecar and bike back to back. Literally at the TT, we do practice sessions and I'm, I have to change my leathers. But that was okay. This was, yeah, a little, they are too, they're so different, they're so different. You get in the car, you're strapped in, you've got your hands device, you can't turn your head, limited movement, and then you're out on track with a load of headbangers that really know how to drive cars. And, I, and I'm still learning, and, um, yeah, what was I thinking? No, it was, it was fantastic. I think I put the pressure on myself when it comes to, you know, doing all this crazy stuff and being the first woman and being a woman out there in a male dominated sport. I, um, and I think that's why it's been more emotional than I even considered because the challenge was quite hard. Obviously I'm going to go away and it'll all settle in and, and it already is and it feels amazing but it was, yeah, I was like, what was I thinking? This is actually tough and crashing the bike, I was like, I don't want to be the woman that's, you know, I, I need to, I want to do this right. So as a female in a male dominated sport, you kind of have to work harder anyway and um, you don't want to make mistakes. I'm so glad that I challenged myself to do this and I'm so glad I achieved it despite all the drama and I just can't thank the teams enough for giving me the opportunities to do that and obviously to the Duke of Richmond for putting on the most amazing motorsport event.